Run, river, run, run through the hills. Run, river, run to the sea. Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun. Run, river, run. Hi, this is Jan Lewis. Welcome to be my guest today. We have Molly Pazareskis with us. Welcome, Molly. She is the CEO of Canine, Feline, and More. It's a pet setting service. She's based in North Pearl, but she will go elsewhere, too. She'll go right to your home, right? And Paul is going to zero in on the fantastic poster, big sign that she has. Now, you started this eight years ago, right? Yes, I And you're going to tell us about how you got into it. I got into it by uh, doing a job and then I wanted to do it by myself and then I wanted to continue more and start my own company. Yeah. So you, as a teenager you were ba babysitting people's animals? Yes. How do you get the word out enough though? That's the, I don't know how they do it. I, I just did it through friends and family and they told their friends mm -hmm. and then I was with the company so they knew me through the company right. and then I still continued back to my old people, and then I just put it up on Rover, on Care.com, to get the word out. You did and well. Yes. For a, for a teenager, <laughs> my gosh, this is fantastic. So you knew, you were already, you were, had you just graduated high school? Yes. Okay, so you knew exactly what you were going to do. Yes. And it's been successful? Yeah, very good. She, okay, tell us what you were telling. You babysit, pet sit, all kinds of animals. What are some of them? Well, all of them. <laughs> She's going to tell you, it's not just kitties and doggies. <laughs> it's not snakes, though, right? Not yet. No. Oh, okay. All right. Go ahead. Which ones do you babysit? I do cats, yeah. dogs, horses. I do sheep, guinea pigs, cows, goats. I do chickens. I do anything fish. You, you come to them. You don't have to bring your cow to her house. No, <laughs> no. She goes to you. What happens if, um, well, you've, you've got a diverse thing going here. You've got maybe on a farm. Yes. You're willing to go there. Yeah. And then you could end up in an upscale house, and the pets are in that house. Yes. What happens if you get in the door and you've got a real biter, a dog that hasn't really, isn't really sweet? What do you do? I usually push them back with my hand, and I tell them to sit. And sometimes I wear a sweatshirt or I talk to the people beforehand and if something is going on with the animal, they usually have them crated away so I don't have to deal with that aggression when I first walk in the door. Okay, and do they allow you, well he has to eat, right? So yes. you open the crate. And do you walk them too? Yes, I do. Even though you don't know the neighborhood, you get, you get to know it, right? Yes. What's the longest you'll stay with, with the kid, with the animals? How long? Well, I actually, I actually do pet sleepovers. Mm -hmm. So that goes from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Oh, so you'll stay there at yes. their house? Yes, yeah, so that's probably the longest that I will stay, but just for normal visits, yeah. an hour. An hour, okay. Do you charge by the hour or just by? Just by what they need. What they need. What is the hardest pet to, to babysit? You'll go there, but what's the hardest? Oh, probably uh, an animal that just has a lot of medication. You do get the medication? Yeah. Thing? Oh, I haven't really had a difficult pet. Not yet. A Doberman. Oh, you did have a Doberman? I did take Or what's the other thing? Um, pit bull? I have not had a You haven't had a pity yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all, all my animals have been super nice. Maybe yeah. some aggressive cats, but. Other what than about that, the guinea pigs? You have a lot. Yes. People will hire a pet sitter. How long is the longest you'll 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 work for them? A week? Two weeks? Um, I actually took care of a lady's guinea pigs for two weeks, and she wanted a text every single uh, visit that I was there, and I was there three times a day. But it was super cute because they ha each had their own little bowl. Yeah. They had four guinea pigs. And you would put lettuce, tomato, carrot, celery, mm -hmm. green beans. They eat healthier than we do. <laughs> well, yeah, I know when I've had guinea pigs growing up, and my son, we had a guinea pig, it was, um, you open the refrigerator door, just open it. Wee, 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 they go yeah. nuts. <laughs> and if you don't want to throw away the rest of your salad. Yeah, just give them to them. The pig Did you have pets when you were a kid? Yes, I did. What did you have? I had two dogs, five cats, oh. and a miniature horse. And a mini horse. Are they called? Yeah, I think they. I saw one in Grafton. The mini horse. It's not a pony. It's smaller yeah. than a pony, right? Yes. How, with 
I heard that they can be pretty, they can have a temper problem. Do they? Not not mine. Not your, okay, I <laughs> yeah, want she, that She's one. just like a big dog that just stays out in the yard all day. How can they reach you, Molly? They can reach me through my website, my phone number, and email or Facebook, Instagram, on the Community Advocate, in the newspaper, anywhere. <laughs> Molly Pazareskis, I've said that right. Yes. Canine, feline, and more pet sitting. Just go to, right? www.canine.com. Caninefam.com. How many, how many can you, let's say a typical work week, what's it like for you? How many homes do you have to go to? A typical work week is probably between five to six people a week. That's a lot of travel. I mean, if you're going out to Harvard. Yes. But then you're supposed to go, how do you time it so you're where you're supposed to be? It's very difficult. I usually have a little bulletin that I keep with me, go to this person from here to here. Yeah. And then it takes 20 minutes to get from this house to this house. Mm -hmm. So I just play by ear. Yeah, and that's just, how you do it. Yeah. What is the limit for animals at somebody's home or farm? What's the limit for you? Um, Maybe f five, oh. but... Like, I took care of a family that had two dogs, four sheep, four cows, uh, chickens. They probably had about 50 to 100 chickens in the yard. So oh. and th there was no limit with that house. <laughs> no, I hope they paid you well for that. Yes, they did. Let me tell you, how long did you do that with that house? That was about two weeks. Two weeks. Now, how many times have you done the overnight? That's oh, This is kind of cool. Did, how <laughs> a many, lot. Weeks? I just got done with a two week-long overnight with four different families. So it, one night per family, or was it certain, how, how do you figure the night? You can't <laughs> be in two places. No, like, you can't. How do you do so that? Some people wanted me to sleep over every other day. Yeah. And then some people wanted the other days. Mm -hmm. And then one week was just for dogs, okay. for this one family. So I would stay at their house, and then the next week I would go on and off between the other houses. So you'll stay 24 hours? Yes. That is amazing. I mean, you're leaving your own home, going to a stranger's house for 24 hours. These aren't the children. Well, they are to the, the yes. owners. <laughs> Do you have to come prepared in case the animal is really, you know, not friendly? You have to have certain, like, what is it that they use? Is there a certain biscuit or so, something you use? What do you do? I, whatever treats they give me, I just put my hand down low and I let them eat it. Yeah. But usually if they're really aggressive, I keep them in a crate yeah. or the owners will keep them in a crate. So when I walk in the door, they're not lunging at me. Yeah, <laughs> that's a busy, so again, how did this go? It was for two weeks you had four families, or a week you had four families. That's yes. a lot. Yeah. What do your parents think about it? <laughs> <laughs> you get time to rest? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and they miss me at home like it, yeah. any family would. This is interesting. Do you think by any chance you'll go to veterinary school? I can see you doing that. Maybe, but I'm not a school person. <laughs> I wasn't either, but I'm thinking with your love of animals. I know. I'm trying to think. This is a great job to begin with. I had no idea there were that many people out there that would request, you know, this. It's sometimes it seems in our world it's scattered how many babysitting jobs you get or whatever pet sitting. But it's pretty amazing. Do you ever have to turn anyone down though? Uh, have you yes. any limits? Do you have some limits there? Yes, I have. Like what are those? <laughs> <laughs> um, I took care of a dog that was a German Shepherd mm -hmm. and was very vocal and did not like me, very um, protective of the owners. Yeah. I probably went there four times a week and the dog just would not stop and I would stay there for a half an hour and just talk with the people about their lives because the dog wouldn't stop talking. So I just said, sorry, I, I can't do this. Your dog will not like let go mm -hmm. of you. Yeah. And, just come over to see me. I was scared that the dog was going to bite me. Right. right. So right. I had to watch out for my own safety. Exactly. How did they take it? They, they were <clears> totally <throat> fine they with knew. it. They, they, they knew. said, if anything were to happen, we, we want you to tell us. And I told them. <laughs> so you've done this for, well, did you start this eight years ago? Yes. And it's mushroomed from there. Yes. Now I asked I asked Molly, how far would you travel? Okay. You're in Northboro. Yes. Are, are you near the library at all? Uh, yes, but I'm on the other side by Berlin. Oh, you're way up. 
Yeah. Damn it, the only thing I... Oh, well, near the across from the library is a, a white church, and yes. then there's a road, Huts, is it Hudson Street? Yes. And that heads more up towards where you are. Yeah, I'm probably like uh, 10 minutes away from there. So okay, it's so that's a nice there. central area. Yes. So you go, you've go. you gone to Harvard. Yes. You think you'd go any further the other ways? Yes. You would. Like Hockington, I've come out to um, Upton. You've run out here? Yes, I have. It, these it, people wonder how what we're going to do. We're going to be leaving on vacation, or we have to board. It, is it less expensive to do it this way for them? Yes. Okay, so listen up. You don't have to say. <laughs> also, these dogs can come back from a boarding with kettle cough. Yeah. Boy, I've seen that. And the kitty cats, they, it, you know, they're in a place with a lot of other animals. The kitty cats aren't that social, I don't think. No, they're, they're not. They're going to really be like, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, but they know you're coming. Does it take the animal long to warm up to you, do you think? No. Oh. No. No. <laughs> you, know how to, you know how to do it. Yes. Do you ever take someone with you? Um, only when I was with my other company, but since it's just me with this, I do not take anyone with me. Yeah. I do not take my significant other with me. I don't take any family members. That stays out. They stay out. Yeah. Your parents must be really proud of you. Yes, they are. <laughs> See, right out of high school, you know what you're going to do. Well, you started before you graduated. Yes. What did the other kids think in your in your group? Were they like, wow, she's pretty amazing? Yeah. Well, I kept on the down, though, so I didn't tell that many people. You kept it quiet? Yes. And then how long did you wait before you got out that this is what I'm doing? Um, maybe when I was... 19, 20 years that's old. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Now, you, can you see this going for a long, long time? Oh, yes. You really like uh, it. Pe people will pay a fortune for their animals. That they're like their kids. Well, it's because the quick, this is terrific. She will go to your home. You don't have to go to her, and then your animal's in with a whole bunch of other animals. Yeah. She will give your pet, just like a human family member, individual. It's like, um, <clears throat> it reminds me of uh, when a family has a senior who needs to be watched. Uh, if they want to go away, it's like providing, what's it called, uh, respite? Respite for the family. Okay. And in a way, when your families go away and they leave their pets with you, you go to them. But she watches them. It's a form of respite for the, they know it's going to be an individual person. Yeah. Do many of them say, okay, what are your, uh, what's your background, what's your references? Yes. I do have a lot of references. I bet, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. That could be like, oh, here we go, you know, and oh, gosh. Now, is there anybody else out there that you know who's doing all this? I, I know a few people, and they're good friends of mine, yeah. and we actually help each other. So yeah. on dates that I can't do, I ask her if she can do the dates, yeah. and she usually can. And if she can't do the dates, she asks me, and I usually can. So your clients are okay with that? Yes. How early is the earliest you've had to get up to go take care of an animal? Uh, oh, God. 5.30. Oh. <laughs> no. I, I try and work around their schedule yeah. so when they wake up to take care of their dog so, or their cat. Oh, okay. So you go, if somebody says, well, we're up at 5 in the morning and this is when uh, Bowser wants to eat, you've got to be there for 5? I, I give them that option. They usually say, come at 7, 8 o'clock. Good. And I, yeah. I say, well, if I want to keep the dog in the same schedule. Yeah as you do so it doesn't get out of sorts when you come back home and they expect to be fed at eight o'clock and you have to go to work at five right so you can give medications like a lot of our yes. pets might have you know have to take some drops or ear drops or meds shots is that kind of do you have to give shots <laughs> yes i do give shots do you ever feel like gosh if i don't do this right i am really in trouble no 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 <laughs> it's a pet but like a it cat it just goes <laughs> right in their neck yeah. you just pinch it and you just give the little shot Insulin, like diabetic? Yes, insulin. Are there many diabetic pets out yes, there? Yes, there are. You wouldn't think it. No. When I heard it, I was like, a diabetic cat? <laughs> we have a one huge male cat. He looks like a leopard. <laughs> we, I said, you know what? He's, he's always hungry. There's something wrong. So we took him up to the vet, and we got him blood tested for that and thyroid, maybe. He came out fine. <laughs> he just, he will open the door where the food is. He waits, and I mean, he'll sit right there and wait for a handout. He's pretty... Do you find a lot of the pets are like that? They follow yes. you all around the house? Yep. <laughs> do yes, you ever they, get any time to it. yourself? Like, <laughs> well, you know, if, if you're yeah. in a home with a big German Shepherd, right, and you're doing an overnight duty, you've got a built-in security guard. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, you like that. Yes, I do. Molly, again, how can they reach you? Oh, they can reach me at my... Um, Sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot. Your email, your, your uh, yes. website? Um, 
You can reach me at my website, which is k9fam.com, and my email, which is mollyjp25 at yahoo.com, and my phone number, which is 508-826-2454. We're talking with Molly Paraskis. 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 She is <laughs> Paraskis. She is the CEO of Canine Feline and More. She's based out of Northboro, but she will travel, and she goes to your home. She does overnights also. How much notice do you need if somebody's interested in having you come? Do they have to get you like a week in advance, or what, is there any rule like that? Uh, for me, I'm very easygoing. Yeah. I can do a month in advance. I can do a few weeks. Some people, it's last minute. Like if you're stuck in traffic and right. your animal needs to be fed, I can do a few hours before. Wow, you are really flexible. Yes. <laughs> I don't know anybody I've ever met. I think I met one other pet sitter in my life, but was pretty rigid on when they could be there and this type of thing. Yeah. If a pet gets sick, and you can tell, do they give you the okay to take the, the pet to the vet? They yes. Get, they do. Have you ever had to do that? Uh, yes, I have. That's scary, huh? Yes. What was that like? It was very scary. I, I had to call the owner. I called the vet. The dog had swallowed a piece of plastic that she found in the yard. And How did they, she do that? Would you... I, it wasn't when I was there. No. I just got into the house, yeah. and she was just throwing up. And yes. And you knew something was really wrong. Lethargic, and yeah, so I picked you, her up and I brought her there, and they just gave her some medicine that helped get, get everything out. out. Yes. Oh, and and she was okay. Yeah, she was fine. Pet sitting for families is a lot like babysitting because these we all know who've had pets and love them, and these yes. are like our kids. They are. I mean, like when I hug my husband and I go out to dinner or something like. Well, we got to get home and feed the kids. You know, we've got yeah. two cats, but to you, that's probably very, very... Are cats easier than dogs, or is it vice versa? Uh, it depends. Um, I preferably like cats. You like kitties, yeah. I like cats. But some dogs are very easygoing. Mm -hmm. If they are very well-behaved, they're very easy to take care of. But I do like a little bit of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I like taking care of that. Yeah, and that guinea pigs... Just don't put your finger near their mouth. No. And they nibble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they nibble. But a friend of mine was, uh, he picked up the hamster and it was dangling off his finger. It had bit him. It was a little oh, different. No. You know, yeah, that. <laughs> he never wanted to go to rodents again. He said, no more rodents. He was scared to death. When you do that, when you take care of cows and chickens, that's a whole different oh, uh, what Was is. that tough to get used to? No, it was very easy. It was actually very easy. Um, in the middle of the field, they just have a big hay section yeah. with like eight bales of hay. So they all walk over there, they eat it, and then if it gets low, I just open up the gate to another field where there's more hay. Yeah. And then they eat it, and I just make sure that their water is filled and make sure they don't knock it over because That's a they're long playful. Day. <laughs> That's probably your longest day, right? Yeah. With cows. Yes. And I hear chickens peck. At, you know, how do you work with them? <laughs> they they just stay away from me. They like to follow me because yeah. I have food or water. How about eggs? Do you get to take yes. any eggs home? Yes, I do. They let you have the eggs. Yes. Oh, that is really cool. And fresh <sighs> eggs are the best. And also birds. Yes. Now, have you ever? Is it parrots, parakeets? What do you have you taken care of? I've taken care of parakeets. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, the the parrots are the ones that talk like hi or that type of thing. Yes. The parakeets are like da -da -da -da, constantly, right? Yeah. Have you ever had to stay overnight with that? Or they stop, don't they? If you put something over their cage. Yes, but no, I have not been able to stay over <laughs> during <laughs> that. Yeah, I know. I, I visited someone's home one time. I nearly went bananas. <laughs> she took the top off the cage, and this. These two birds were just would not be quiet. I, I said, I can't take this anymore. She says, oh, just a minute. She puts it back over the cage. Silence. <laughs> I'm like, oh, geez. I love God. animals, but that was just over the top. Oh, I bet. They you could just go on and on. I know. Did you ever meet an animal you didn't like when you first met them? Like, like this isn't going to work out too well. Uh, yes, a um, German Shepherd. The German Shepherd. You know when you walked in? Yes. <clears throat> but you go and interview with the family beforehand so they get to meet you. Yes. And then they bring their dog out <clears throat> or their kitty cat. Yeah. I can imagine our kitty cats would run from you. Well, actually, I have a story for that. What's that? <laughs> I went to a client's house. Uh, this lady had a bunch of cats, mm -hmm. like seven, eight cats. Mm -hmm. 
and she's like, I just want to let you know, our cats usually don't come out for strangers, they don't come out for family members, um, they're just very shy, so when you're here, if you don't see them, please don't worry. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, no worries, and then she starts gasping, and I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? And she's like, look around. All of her eight cats were out, and she was like, you have the magic touch. My cats never come out. We have family that comes over, friends that come over. Our cats stay hidden. The second you walk in the door, maybe five, ten minutes after, the cats all come out. She, did she put the, was she acting when she gasped to make them think she was sick? And no, just like a gasp, like, oh, oh my God, my cats are out. I'm so surprised, I'm shocked. That's a good sign. It was, and she's like, I want you right off the bat, and I'm still taking care of them. How long ago was that? Oh. Probably six, seven years ago. Oh my God, that is pretty. <laughs> that is quite an experience. I know that I read somewhere where there was a one or two nursing homes that had a resident cat. It's not very happy, but when the cat would go into some resident's personal room, get up in the bed and stay there, it was the sign that the person was passing away. Oh. Um, I love animals. <laughs> if God, if one, if that, if a God forbid, if I was ever in a facility. And their cat that was known to started coming in. I'm like, get out! <laughs> I'm not ready for the Grim Reaper. I I don't know what I would do. I'm like, I looks like I get it to come in every day. And I'm thinking, all right, I got this cat. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but you never heard of that? They can no. they can sense when someone is going to die or has died. No, I had no idea. I don't know if they get the word out to the other residents in nursing homes or whatever. I'll be like, oh my God, don't, you know, it's like the Grim Reaper coming down the hall in cat form. You know? Oh God, I would hate that. It's just sold up for six cents. Yes. Did you find that the guinea pigs, when you pat them, their little head goes... Yes, it does. And I, I tried to pick them up, and they just jumped right off. They're like, I don't want to be pet. And I'm like, that's totally fine, but you're just so cute, so soft. I just have to pet you. <laughs> you there's the big-haired kind, and then yes. there's the smooth ones. I like yes, the smooth, the smooth ones. ones. Yeah, the other one's kind of, I don't know. Did you ever see the episode of Star Trek? You're probably too young to remember, but it's called The Trouble with Tribbles. <laughs> and it's these big fuzzy things that the Captain Kirk and they had to multiply all over the spaceship. That's what these big furry guinea pigs look like to me. It's yeah. like you got to look for his face. Yeah. Of all the dogs you've taken care of, have you ever taken care of, this is my favorite, a basset hound? No. Really? Really. Because, you know, if you go in and you leave him, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. They just are so like, please don't go. <laughs> you know? But that's nope, my favorite. Nope, none of those. Is a chihuahua, kind of, well, I know they're hyper. Are they hard to take care of? They're just very chatty, but it depends on how they were brought up. Yeah. I took care of a family that had three chihuahuas, yeah. and the third one was the parent's dog. And both the dogs from this one client's house, they were very friendly. Yeah. And one was shy, the other one was very active and then this other one who came in was abused in the past yeah. and doesn't get along with dogs and people so when i walk in the door the dog's yapping his head off he was happy no no he wasn't <laughs> no. just the opposite no so one dog was happy one dog was shy and then the other one was like i'm gonna bite your feet off because that's the one that was abused yes did you finally get him to be friendly or her to be friendly uh i depend on the day yeah. If I had a lot of treats, but he would still come over and snap at me. But I'm like, you're a chihuahua. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> well, did you You had to walk all three dogs, right? Uh, nope. They have a fenced-in yard, so I just let them outside, and they just do their business, and then I play with them, and then they come back in. I've seen one pet sitter. I don't know where that person is now, years ago, but they would go by our house. My God. He was a young fellow, young guy, maybe in his 20s, I don't know. But he'd have a leash full of dogs. I'm thinking, and then he was on a skateboard. Oh and the God. dogs were like, uh, like uh, in Alaska, the, the mush dogs there. Yeah. Actually, he just was on a skateboard, and that's how he walked all his dogs. <laughs> I was thinking, wow, what happens if he falls into the road? I mean, these pets are going to go. Yeah. Have you ever lost anybody? Uh, no. Oh, thank God. No. Oh, that's good. Did you almost get a feeling that oh, he's going to break his leash and go? Because they're yes. so strong. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's one thing with kitty cats. They do... You, some of them can be walked on a leash. Yes. I, you know, have you ever done that? I did it with my kitten when I first got him, yeah. and he didn't like it. He just tumbled. <laughs> yeah, I think our boy cat would have liked it. I got him out into the driveway, and we didn't go any further with him. 
I think he would not. I don't think she, well, she might, but before we go, uh, Molly, one more time, how can they reach you for your pet sitting? They can reach me through my website, which is canine, feline, and more. See, I screwed yeah, that's up okay. again. Phone or email or... <laughs> She's easy. Um, <laughs> you can reach me through my website, which is caninefam.com. My email, which is mollyjp25 at yahoo.com. And my phone number, which is 508-826-2454. And I am based out of Northborough. And she goes to your home. You don't have to bring your pet to stay with her. She will do overnights. She'll go to your home. And yes, she can give medication. She knows if an emergency, she helps save a pet's life. He had choked on a plastic he had eaten. She knows how to get that dog to the vet and to call his owners. Yes. Um, just try to, all that she'll take care of cows, chickens, everything, dogs, cats, guinea pigs, <laughs> uh, If you got somebody who called in, would you wash our snake for two weeks? I, I <laughs> no, that would be my final, no, unless, well, if, if you were required to take him out of his cage, if I was just, <laughs> but they might want to give you dead mice. I'd say, no. I don't, could you handle that? I don't know. Oh, I, I'd have to give it and like look the other way. Oh. Take it, please. <laughs> uh, that's, I would draw. Lizards are okay. I don't mind them, but is there something about... Mm, no, no, no. Do you ever go to the Southwick Zoo? Yes. Isn't that fun? It is fun. You probably wonder, like, oh, I'd like to take care of all these animals. All yeah. These critters. <laughs> she is wonderful. Look, don't be shy if you have... And some plans to go away and you'd like a pet sitter who comes to your home. She has excellent references, eight years of experience, and she's young. She's in my son's group in the 20s, so this girl knew what she wanted to do. She started it right off in her teens, and she's building on it. And she, you're based in Northboro, but you'll go call anyway. her. It doesn't matter. What's your phone number again, Molly? It is 508-826-2454. Uh, don't be shy. Give her a call. Is there an answer thing if, if you're not there or your mom and dad was? Oh, it's just my cell phone. Oh, good. Ah, you can really, it's her <laughs> cell phone. Good. And they're free to leave a message if, if necessary. Yes, right? or you can text me. I'm good on texting. Yeah. There you go. You have someone who really loves animals, <laughs> and she has a wide range, not just pets, and, not just cats and dogs. This is unusual. I've never seen somebody so wide range. Thank you, Molly, for being with us. Thank you so and much for having luck. me. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. I'll be my guest. star heading out toward a dream 